All right, and those folks have been dealing with the heat. Uh, they've been dealing with extremely dry conditions and some gusty breezes. Hence, you end up getting the uh, the wildfires. You can see hot temperatures out west for sure. Phoenix is going to be back up to 109 degrees. But look at this is with dew points that are so low. So it's hot, it's dry, and it's breezy out there leading to the wildfires. For us right now, we are cool, we are dry, just a crisp, cool start to our day. We're sitting at 45 degrees as the kids head off to the bus stop. A lot of clear sky, maybe a little bit of thin fog, but no weather issues really. The next three days, for your Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we will be starting cool each morning. The temp's coming up just a bit, but lots of sunshine the next three days and warm afternoons as the kids head home as well. So maybe a hoodie in the morning, then short sleeves in the afternoon because we are at 45 now, 41 in Keene, 55 in Worcester, plenty of clear sky across the area, and that's going to be the case today. But we're going to warm up fast. We go from the 40s now to by mid-morning, we're approaching 60. By noontime, we're already into the low to mid-70s, and we'll top off close to 80 degrees this afternoon. This model's saying about 77 or 78, but they've been undercutting the temps just a little bit. Yesterday, we got the 79. I think we get to about 80 today, but keep in mind, that's with low relative humidity. So it's 80, but it's feeling great out there with just a light breeze and nice, comfortable evening as well. If you're going to be out after about 7 or 8 o'clock, you'll certainly need the light jacket. And by tomorrow morning, again, we're back down into the 40s in many locations. UV index today still up there. I know the sun angle isn't as strong, right? It's lower in the sky, but keep in mind, we think of March sometimes, you know, when you head off to uh, the St. Patrick's Day Parade in March, you can sometimes get a burn. I bring that up because that's what our sun is equivalent to now, late March. And, you know, if you're out there for an extended period of time with the UV index up near six around noontime, you can still get burnt. So plenty of sunscreen for sure, even those days, even though the uh, sun angle is lower. A high pressure will supply us with the sunshine. And of course, we continue to track Francine, which is in the Gulf of Mexico now. It is a category one hurricane, top winds, 90 miles per hour. Some of the heavy bands are already approaching coastal Louisiana and conditions there are only going to be going downhill. It's moving to the northeast at 10. It'll likely make landfall late afternoon as we go into the evening. And it's either going to make landfall as a cat one, perhaps now with the update that uh, Hurricane Center, maybe even a cat two, with winds up over 100 miles per hour as it makes landfall. It's going to be a big rainmaker, the storm surge, the whole bit. It's going to bring a lot of rain to Mississippi and parts of the south central uh, part of the country. That system, though, that storm, it is not going to be affecting us. Big dome of high pressure will keep, well, any storminess away. Maybe some clouds and showers across way up across uh, Maine. That is about it over the next couple of days. Uh, some of the high clouds might fan our way from this system way off to the west. But as you can see, it just will rain itself out, bringing perhaps severe weather to uh, the central part of the country while we stay with the sunshine today, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and as we head into the weekend, the opener of the Big E, it's going to be warm, a little bit of mugginess, more of that summertime feel. So if you're heading over to the fairgrounds on Friday, really for the weekend, make sure you have the sunscreen, plenty of bottled water, and you are good to go. It's going to be delightful. Today, sunny skies, warm and dry. Cool start, 75 to 80 this afternoon. The wind a lighter today. We had those gusty breezes yesterday. Clear skies tonight. It'll be chilly again with readings falling down into the 40s and tomorrow. Lower 80s in the valley. Lots of upper 70s and lower 80s. A beautiful day tomorrow as well with just about wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. Few clouds may mix in on Friday, but still nice and just a tiny bit of mugginess. Two points will approach 60 as we head into the weekend. More of that summertime feel and sunshine to start next week as well. All right, that's your forecast. More weather in just a couple of minutes. Taylor, over to you. Thank you, Dan. <clears throat> and former NFL